Today I'm going to share the initial structure of the framework that I'm developing for how to learn in public. It is a sunny but cold Tuesday afternoon in November here in Portland, Oregon. And to set the stage for today's video, I wanna first try to describe as succinctly as I can what this project, Learn in Public, is all about. In one sentence, Learn in Public is a resource for students, artists, and entrepreneurs who are willing to document their progress as they build their thing and learn along the way as a means of improving their... No, I don't like that. Let's try that again. And now we got lots of cars going behind me. Hopefully none of these cars hit this camera. So there is some uh, type of products company that is behind the camera right now and apparently everyone leaves right at four. Let's try that description again. Learn in Public is a resource for students, artists, and entrepreneurs who are willing to document their progress as they learn new things while building their thing. Learn new skills while building their thing. One more time. Learn in Public is a resource for students, artists, and entrepreneurs who are willing to document their progress online as they learn new skills and do things with those skills. And what I am currently working on is a framework that I will introduce in a live webinar on December 1st and then turn into an online course to help people do that, to navigate this online landscape and figure out how best that they can share their works in progress even before they think they are ready because of the personal and professional benefits that arise when you do that. So I spent last night working on the initial structure of what that framework would be, getting a lot of ideas out on note cards, and I came to this three-part framework that might, those three, these three parts that might provide the right containers for everything else that is to come. So I thought I would use today's video to share those three parts if I'm not distracted by all of the cars and people that are moving behind this camera. So in part number one here, this is gonna be tricky because it's kind of windy. In part number one, the goal is to set the stage by defining the world that we live in. By coming to a common understanding of what the internet looks like right now, what the global economy looks like right now, so that we understand the, the space that we have to play with, the kind of the current conditions and the opportunities that are out there because of the current infrastructure and the way social dynamics are evolving and, and what that might look like as it continues to evolve in the future and how you might be able to tap into uh, that environment while you are learning your skills and sharing them. So the first piece is to kind of lay that out as I see it as best as I can as a framework or as a baseline understanding for what is coming next. Part two of this framework is about developing your own learn and public strategy. Having come to this more or less common understanding of what the world looks like and the opportunities that exist, the next step is to take that 
baseline environment and develop a plan for yourself that's personalized to your own personality and also the work that you are doing, what you are learning, and develop a strategy for how to go about sharing what you are learning, even when it's scary, even when everything is a work in progress. Because I think that when you have some sort of strategy behind the work that you are doing, it makes it much easier to overcome the fears and the emotional struggles that are involved in sharing your work with the world. So that's what part two is about, tailored strategy for how you will learn in public. That's what you'll develop in part two. And finally, part three is about actually putting that plan, that strategy into action, about acting, about publishing, and about iterating on that process, whatever your strategy is. This part is probably gonna be one of the most important pieces of this, because I don't want to just provide this blueprint, this map for you, and then say, here you go, good luck. I want a central part of this framework to be the part where you actually put that strategy into action and learn what needs to change about it and uh, do that iteration over time because it's here, it's when you actually start doing these things that the real struggles, the real difficulties of learning in public will come out. And I want to be there for that and hopefully help you overcome whatever struggles and difficulties arise once you start doing this process. So those are the three parts. First, a description of the world we currently live in, then, the development of your own learn and public strategy, and then the actual action of putting that strategy into use. Because the goal, the overall transformation that I hope occurs for you if you decide to take a look at this framework and maybe dig into the course once it exists within a couple of months, uh, the transformation that I hope occurs for you is that you have this strategy and that you started to implement it and you know how to iterate on it over time so that you have this engine of sorts that you know how that engine works and you know how to tweak it to respond to changes in yourself and your surrounding environment and the overall circumstances in which we live. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those three parts there. I'm going to throw them up on my wall in my home office and in the days to come I'm gonna start filling in the pieces what are the exact sub units and the details of each of those components of this framework and as I do that I would love to hear from you and here's my question for today do those three parts that I just described, do they resonate with you? Do they make sense? And do you think that I am missing anything big in the overall picture of this idea of learning in public, of sharing your work online as you develop new skills? Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. So uh, let me know what you think of this three-part structure. I'm gonna go walk around in the sunshine, which is much warmer than the shade, and enjoy the next half an hour of daylight before it gets dark at like 5.30, and it's only gonna get worse from here. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow with more.